Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. So a new Marquette University Law School survey found a 32% cratering of black support for Biden. It say who now enjoys just a 56% approval rating among black Americans, among the worst ever for a modern democratic president. Now by comparison, they say the same survey less than a year ago found his support among black people at 88%. They say the drop was so noticeable that the school mentioned in their headline on the survey, which put Biden's overall support rate uh, from the American adults at 46% among his best of recent surveys since July of 2021, Biden's job approval among whites has gone from 50% to 40% among blacks has gone from 88% to 56% among Hispanics has gone from 56% to 51%. Now I said the decline, they say among blacks, it's particularly striking. They said no rebound and decline in black support. Um, they said, read the survey headline. They say it's the January survey, 57% of blacks approved of Biden while 41% didn't. They say now the numbers are worse. 56% approved, 43% disapproved. They say the trend in approval by race and ethnicity since July shows a very substantial decline in approval among black adults with smaller but consistent declines among white and Hispanic respondents. They said the black vote has been key to Democrats winning federal races for decades, but it showed weakness in the 2020 race and that has sped up since. Well, let, let, let me say something, you know, and, and because you're not going to get the truth, you know, like you would get it here, you know, cause Democrat shield, you know, media, cause we need to start labeling that Democrat shield media because there is a Democrat shield media. Democrat shield media is going to lie. They're going to say, oh, these, 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 you know, uh, black people not really declining in support like that. Oh, that's not, that's misinformation. They're going to say all kind of little, you know, words they like to say, but this is the truth. Only in the grassroots black media, you'll get the truth. Democrat shield media, you won't. Okay. The reason once again, and I know y'all listening. The, the, the Democrat shield media, I know you're going to take these talk and try to flip these talking points. I know you're watching. I know you watch everything. This is the truth. When Biden got in office, the first thing you did when you got in there, you had a meeting, you know, with your, your hand picks. And I knew something was up when you told them, well, they have to work with the Hispanics if they want to get things done in the future. Nobody mentioned Hispanics. Nobody mentioned them at all. Why did you bring them up? And what did he say? He said, this country is going to be in a crisis because it's going to have a white minority. He said that. So you let you know what he was on the moment he got in office. Biden haven't changed. This is the same guy that said he did not want to integrate his children into a racial jungle. Okay. But black folks act like he didn't say anything like that because it was blue no matter who, right? You listen to Democrat shield media to scare you about Trump so much. Oh my God, Trump, 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 Trump. And then find out one of the biggest Democrat shields got $250,000 underneath the Trump administration. Hmm. Interesting. And we all know who got that. Boulay Martin. Making make you wonder. You know, I mean, would any, would the U S government give somebody $250,000 to promote black empowerment? I mean, usually they pay agents that kind of money, but let y'all look into that a little more. But the black community who got out in the middle of a global pandemic to go out and vote 
Okay. They didn't vote for all the stuff you've been doing. They voted for, we had George Floyd going on at the time. I know why they got out and they wanted these race soldiers reined in. But unfortunately black folks didn't listen because at that time period, Biden did say he did not believe in ending qualified immunity. He want the race soldiers to keep the same power they have now. He don't want them reined in because in white society, they believe that the police are there to keep black people in line. Now, Tanya said that a long time ago, shout out to Tanya. They believe that. So Biden and the Democrats would never rein in the police. The only way they would possibly rein them in unless there is mutiny in the black community against their party. For black people to have that big of a decline shows a lot of things. We saw that Asian hate crime bill that popped up. You understand? They could have added black people to that bill. You had the FBI statistics to prove that black people suffer the most being the victims of hate crimes in the United States of America. All the data shows that they could have easily added black people. Your congressional black caucus didn't add black people to that bill. The Democrats could have did that very easily and they did not. The hate crimes that increased in the Asian community were very minuscule on the federal data compared to black people. Black people had an explosion of hate crimes happening to them during the pandemic and we did not get any kind of protection and Biden gave them $50 million. Nobody says anything about that. Black folks saw that black folks saw when the Afghan people came in here, you was open arms with them. All these American companies, you were getting on board to putting them up. Biden initially said $500 million. I'm gonna give for these people to come in here. He ain't gave nothing for black people. When black people say something, what did he give you? Hip hop appreciation month. But he gave the Afghans $500 million. People that's not even us citizens. Black folks saw that. Black folks saw you doing executive orders for LGBT to make sure they're protected. You're still not doing nothing for black folk whatsoever. Look at the current thing, Ukraine. Black people talking about reparations. We need our cash payments. And what do, what do the Democrats do? They write $13.6 billion in, in, the, in a bill to give to Ukraine, to people who aren't even citizens of this country. But black America can't get reparations? Black people see that. Listen, even some of your most hardcore of the hardcore bleeding blue black Democrat has say, wait a minute, hold the hell on, man. Hold on. Just the other day, Biden is sending $204 million of your tax dollars and mine to Afghanistan, talking about humanitarian aid. You mean to tell me you can't give humanitarian aid to the black community? We could use $204 million and the, your, your, the, their whole thing has been F y'all. Then Trump has secured funding for the HBCUs. If you look at the money during the time he was giving it out, he reduced funding to the HBCUs. He gave $11 billion to Hispanic serving institutions, 11 billion took away some of our funding and gave it to them. And what is a Hispanic serving institution in this country? White folks could worm their way into Hispanic if they want. They can lie. How many times they lied to say they're black? Biden has been doing everything he can. Then look at what he did at the border with the Haitians, right? He showed even black immigrants how he really feel about black people. The, the, he let everybody else from south of the border come to this country. But when them Haitians showed up, he said, uh-uh, hell no. Get on them planes, get your behind. Right back to Haiti. He had no problem sending them right back to Haiti. None, but everybody else, oh, they can't get sent back, right? Now he's talking about bringing in a hundred thousand Ukrainians into this country. He just gave them money and they ain't talking about bringing them in here. Why are you going to fly them way over here to America for? They got so many European countries that's right there in their backyard. You're going to fly them 18 hours away from where they come from and bring them over here for what? For what? But this is Biden though. This is Biden. Kick them Haitians out. Make sure to get them planes to Haiti, but you can let the Ukrainians come way over here. Understand? Black folks have seen that this administration has been extremely anti-black. 
when they say they want to give you something, hey, we gave you Juneteenth. Juneteenth is celebrated in many states all over this country. You ain't giving us anything. Well, we're giving you Katanji Brown Jackson, a black Supreme Court justice. You didn't give us that. That's your pick. That is your pick. And the way you pick them, just, we just had to say this, when you pick them, they got to make sure to have a white husband. That's, that's your criteria for black women. They got to have a white husband. They can't have a black husband. They got to have a white one. And then you look into the record of these women, Kamala, Katanji, uh, 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 both of them have always sided against black people in, in cases. Both of them. That's also your criteria. They have to make sure to have a track record of not punishing white supremacy. Katanji, they're getting on her for not giving longer sentences to people who touch children. But when black folks had sued Lockheed Martin and Lockheed Martin had agreed on a settlement, she messed it off for black people. But see, that's, that's, that's Biden's black people. We see all that. We see all that. Everybody else getting a bag. People getting federal laws to be, in, to be protected. But when black people, we get nothing. So black people say, hell no. No, we got to have some tangibles, period. Oh, we ain't voting for you. Is it that simple? We will sit it out. Because what is the point of participating in, in, in voting for you? For what? And I've been saying this on a podcast forever. Black folks got two choices. Black folks could, could hashtag sit it out or they can, if they're not emotional, because if they're not emotional, they can do a protest vote and vote for the other side. I explained many, many times why a protest vote sometime may be a good thing because there's not a bidding war for the black vote. The Republicans ignore black people for the most part. They say you don't vote for us. The Democrats ignore us too because they say, oh, we got your vote. We ain't got to do nothing for you. We do something for everybody else but you because we already got your vote. But black people is the backbone to a lot of their success. And black people can break the back of the Democrat party by just saying, hey, all them people you gave money to, them Ukrainians, you gave the Asians a hate crime bill, you gave the, uh, the Afghan people money, the LGBT, all these different people that you actually helped, let them vote for you. And we're just going to just chill our nerves. We're going to mind our black business. We're not getting involved in nothing you got going on because you don't care about us. You ain't serving us. And the days of, of this so-called black representation matters crap is done. We want tangibles now. I don't care about a black face representing white supremacy. And that's what the Congressional Black Caucus is anyway. It's black faces representing white supremacy because they never stand up for black people. They stay in line with the Democrat Party. What's the point of calling them black? There's no reason. If you're representing black people, you represent us. And don't come and talk about HR 40. Man, I don't want to hear no talking on HR 40 because you know what? Everybody else getting a the bag. They didn't do no study for Ukraine. Now, did they? Where's the study? Where's the committee for Ukraine? Nope. Just pass that money out. All that money you passed out during the virus. There was no study. There was nothing. You just went over here and say, oh, let me start passing out checks to people. So we seen what you can do. Don't tell me you ain't got it. Let me tell y'all something. When they tell you they ain't got it, they print the money. They got it. How you think a country that's what, $30 trillion in debt, always giving money out to everybody else outside this country, how do you think they do it? They print the money. That's why. They, 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 <laughs> they don't look to another country to print their money. Same thing with, with, with the UK. They, they print it. So of course they got it. So since we know you got it, you need to pay reparations. It's just that simple. But black folks are serious about reparations. Why do you think they even have a commission talking about in California now? Because it's getting louder and louder. And now the, even the reparations conversation is going global now. Now other black people in other nations are talking about, hey, you know, we need our reparations too. And they should fight for that. But we're not going to support the Democrats. No. The Democrats are either going to do right by us or they can just not let, go on and listen. Let me tell the Democrats something. Every day, your, limited, your biggest base, the baby boomers, that generation, every day they go on, you're losing more and more voters. Some of them even heard what we had to say and checked out the process too. 
but then some of them are just going on, you know, they passed away. Every day that's going on, you're losing those voters and more and more people that talk like me and think like me are here. You need to be making sure you write by black people. Sure, you can attack us. Sure, you can get the tech companies to suppress us. You know, we deal with that too. I mean, those who have been following us long enough, you see we, we deal with suppression all the time. Some people tell me that they don't see our videos popping up at all, even though they've been subscribed for years. They don't get no notifications, even though they clicked it, you know, all of that. That's why I had said, hey, just check, check if you're still subscribed. Check if you check if you that notification bell is clicked. And even if you still do all that, if you don't see no kind of videos popping up in your subscription feed from this channel, then something's not something not right. You need to go look. We post things every day. It's rare we don't post something every day. But our our business model here is daily post here. So you should always see something here. If you don't see nothing come up in the feed, then go look. Because as this time get closer and closer, they gonna be using some dirty tactics to try to, you know, suppress our voice. So we need the people to push that. We need the people, when I say in the, in the, in the videos now, when I'm talking about class participation is we need y'all, when you come here, leave your comments, let your, let, leave your comment. Now, sometimes you say, with well, I believe a comment and it's not shown. I don't do that. I don't have, I don't have the ability to, sh to, to monitor comments like that. I get too much. They do that. Okay. But leave a comment anyway. If anything, click that like button. You engage in the content spreads it in the algorithm. Now that's the way it works. So they, we, we have to depend on not only people watching, but also people, because the more of you participate, the more it's spread. If you want to get these messages out there because they're working overtime to get the Democrat shield media out there in front of everybody to protect this Democrat party, to deceive the brethren. It's all about deception of the brethren. They want to keep you losing. They want to keep you uh, literally watching us go into a deeper and deeper permanent underclass. Cause there are people in the Democrat shield media who have paid good money to sail you down the river. They're paid great money. They have no integrity. They, they will try to sound like us. They will try to copy our cadence. They will try to copy even some of the talking points, but they're poison because they're going to lead you right back to that same plantation that got us where we at today as a community. You have finally woke up. You finally standing up as a people and saying, no, we need something now. Go on all that black representation crap. That don't mean nothing because black representation, what did Maxine Waters tell them homeless black people to go home? That's our black representation. And what did black people say? We ain't got a home to go to. That, but that's our black representation though. And then when she show up and all these black representatives show up, they ain't got a hair out of place. They wearing some of the best fabric out there on their clothes. They eating the best restaurants and they live in gated communities nowhere near you. Okay. So no, them days got, them days got to go. So, so they're going to, they're going to be putting a lot of money into the Democrat shield media and anybody that's a Democrat shield, they're going to be spending some money and, and they're going to sit up there and try to manipulate algorithms and everything for the Democrat shield media, because we know the Biden administration paid a lot of money out during the virus to get people to get the jab to the breakfast club and, 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 and to hot 97 and all these different ones that so-called black people talking, they paid a lot of money for that. So if they paid money for that. You think they won't pay money to the Democrat shields to in, in these tech companies to try to suppress those who are speaking against them and try to up, you know, uplift those who are fighting to keep them in, in office because that's how they get paid. This is why we need y'all to participate. This is why we need y'all to spread that content, share it with people, share it. We have to do things organically on our own folks. So make sure you participate in the class by commenting and make sure you click that like button and you let me know, you know, about uh, maybe some things I even forgot possibly about why the support for Biden had went down 
among black people, but it's going to go down. You can't just screw us anymore and we just take it. No, that's just not going to happen.